James is a 51 year old and he's held a secure job for 25 years and he provides amply for his family it's amply for his family but there is only one problem he feels no fulfillment from his job James feels no fulfillment from his job because he's not challenged but James believes a middle-aged man like him cannot afford to quit a well-paying job. And so he gets up in the morning, dresses up, kisses his wife goodbye, and goes to an unfulfilling but well-paying job. James longs to add something to his life that will restore his sense of purpose. But he believes his present circumstances determine the rest of his life. And so, he continues with the same job by which he is challenged. James is look, doesn't know what his authentic mode looks like as he strikes up a friendship with a new employee at the office. Carmen is eager to learn the ropes and James has been there long enough to know them all. He's intrigued by her enthusiasm for her work and her drive to succeed. He's impressed by her desire to make a better life for herself and her children. And so within a few months, their friendship veers into an intimate relationship that threatens James's work and both their jobs. James' unguided search for more thrust him into an extramarital relationship when what he really longed for was to feel needed. His authentic more may have come from learning a new skill but for personal enhancement, perhaps teaching a class. He may have invented a device to revolutionize the industry in which he works. But rather, he slided into a destructive diversion that only appeared to have something to offer. Therefore, I'm giving this story because of the graduates. Right now, their main concerns may be a job, a family, and perhaps to make money and a career. But one thing is, knowing your authentic mode in life is very essential because you have to pursue it with intentionality. And you are here, you've run a good race, and you are seated here because you have overcome. But you are likely to face challenges along the way, such as people telling you your degree is not sufficient. You've studied in French, but we want somebody who studied in English. Perhaps you don't have enough experience, or your family is not well known. But do not give up. You may try seven times with seven different companies, but there is always the eighth company that is going to say yes. But even more, look beyond your academic qualifications and find that thing that God has placed in your heart to contribute, and that will be your turning 